hello again beautiful people welcome back to my channel she wears many hats if you are new here my name is Samantha welcome so today I'm going to show you guys how I make my homemade crispy chicken and fries I already washed and cut up my chicken wings beautiful people I washed my chicken wings in vinegar so now it's time to to add my seasoning I will be adding a teaspoon of Maggi chicken seasoning up, beautiful people. A full teaspoon of Maggi chicken seasoning up. Or should I just add, I'm going to, you know what, let me add one and a half teaspoon of this. Yes, one and a half teaspoon of Maggi chicken seasoning up. I'm going to add one full teaspoon of Island Spice season all. That's the island spice season of all. I'm going to add one full teaspoon. I have some scotch bonnet pepper in the powder form. Beautiful people. I'm going to add about half teaspoon because I do like my chicken spicy. We are not afraid of spicy food in this house. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt. I do not like salty food and I'm also going to sprinkle some cayenne pepper beautiful people cayenne pepper gives your chicken nice golden color yes so I had my seasonings to my chicken I'm also going to add pieces of green onion onion and thyme I don't cut cut up the green onion small beautiful people because you know when you're frying the chicken you Sometimes they tend to, when they get into the oil, they tend to burn. So I will be picking these out when I'm ready to fry my chicken. So I'm adding some green onion, onion pieces of green onion, onion and thyme. I do not have a kitchen glove, beautiful people. So I'm going to use a clean poly, poly bag, what we call flour bag here in Jamaica, to rub in my seasoning. Yes. Oh, look how it's looking beautiful people. Yes, and I'm going to cover this and leave it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to fry it later. Yes, so I'm going to rub in my season nicely. Yes, two people. So that is how my chicken is looking nicely seasoned. So I'm going to cover it. And beautiful people I already seasoned my Irish potato and this is how it's looking so I, I didn't want my I don't want my videos to be too long so I did this off camera so this is my Irish potato let me tell you what I add I add one no lie I add half teaspoon of this um, Maggie's chicken seasoning up. I did sprinkle a little bit of the cayenne pepper on it. I'm just showing you what I did. Oh, I seasoned um, the potato and I had half teaspoon also of the island spice season oil. And I did add, sprinkle a little bit of salt and some scotch bonnet pepper. So that is how I seasoned my fries. So I'm going to cover my fries and I'm going to rest my fries in the refrigerator with the chicken so the next time you you see me beautiful people this is going to be time for me to prepare the egg and flour and fry my chicken so i will see you all again soon so beautiful people i am back to show you how i prepare my flour and my egg mixture for my chicken and fries i have two cups of flour in this basin and i also have one egg and a half cup of milk in this bowl right here I'm going to season my flour first I'm going to add a little bit of baking powder this is a I'm going to add a half teaspoon of baking powder that is half teaspoon all right I'm going to use another teaspoon for the season the original teaspoon here the metal yes I'm going to add a half teaspoon of the Maggie season up in also in my flour. 
sprinkle some cayenne pepper. Add also a half teaspoon of the Island Spice Season Oil, beautiful people, to my flour. And I'm going to sprinkle, I'm not going to add any salt in this mixture. And I'm going to sprinkle some of our powder, powdered scotch bonnet pepper. Now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the cayenne pepper, beautiful people, into the milk and egg mixture. And I'm only going to put, this is about quarter teaspoon of the Island Spice Season Oil. So that, that is all going, that is all I'm going to put in the egg mixture and then I'm going to mix them around. So the lip, so the milk and the, and the egg blend together. Baking powder blend together. And after I'm done with the four people, it will be time for the frying of the chicken and the fries. Look what we have here, beautiful people. Four pieces of crispy golden brown fried chicken. So let me show you what I did. So I have my chicken here, beautiful people. I'm going to place pieces of my chicken in the egg mixture. This pot holds four pieces of chicken. So I'm going to put four pieces in the egg mixture. Mix it around. Let me show you, let me come closer and show you all what I'm doing. So I'm mixing around the chicken in the egg mixture. Now I'm going to dip my chicken into the flour, beautiful people. I started to fry them already because I don't want my phone to be over this heat for, for, a, long, for a long time. So I hope you all understand. Right, so I, have, I am putting four pieces of the chicken into the into the flour mixture and I am you know, I am making sure that the flour all the, all the chicken is covered in the flour. All right. We have a paper there that I'm resting my fork on. So it's time for me to drop the chicken into my hot oil. As I said earlier, I started to fry the chicken already. After I do, after I do this, I'm going to start with my fries. I'm going to show you how to get crispy homemade fries, beautiful people. When I used to do my live stream, I did videos like this, like this. So this is a close up, beautiful people. And, and those live, live stream videos are very long. So it's time for me to do my fries, my seasoned fries, beautiful people. So these are my potatoes looking lovely. And I'm going to do this, the, uh, sorry, I'm going to do the same thing, beautiful people. I'm going to put the, the fries in the, the potatoes in the, the egg mixture first. Then I put it into the flour mixture. So that's how you are going to get crispy fries with the whole people. Crispy homemade fries. You do the same thing. You 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 do the same thing. You fry the you sorry, you fry the fries the same way you do the chicken. Yes, my tongue was a little bit tied there. <laughs> 
All right, so I'm going to mix. Make sure that all the potatoes are covered in the flour. Then I'm going to drop them in the hot oil. So this is how I do my homemade my homemade chicken and fries with the people. Yep. You can see the oil here. Here is hot. So beautiful people, I am giving you a close-up look of my chicken and the fries. I'm on the last batch. I let the chicken fry 25 minutes on each side. And I just let the fries fry until they are golden brown. I need to take these out now. Okay, beautiful people, dinner is done. Crispy homemade chicken and fries i did about 14 pieces of chicken beautiful people i will be having mine with some vegetables look at the chicken beautiful people look at the fries homemade fries beautiful people thank you all for watching thank you all for subscribing i will see you all tomorrow